Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Have you seen the video where my friend and I created a Eurorack interface for the Sparkfun Tsunami Wave Trigger? Well, my other friend Mangu from Spain was inspired to make a much improved version, the Nutella. Available as a kit or pre-built, Nutella by Tesseract puts everything on the front panel and opens up all of the Tsunami's possibilities for use in the modular including 16 trigger buttons and inputs with LEDs, 8 audio outputs, MIDI DIN input, the reset and user buttons, and it even makes the SD card easily accessible from the front panel, where with my design you had to unrack the module to access it. I won't go into too much detail about all that Tsunami can do, but it's a lot, it's a very powerful board, and with the Nutella it becomes incredibly useful in many ways inside a modular. Please check out the manual Mangu wrote, there's a link in the video description. My Nutella came pre-built, very well packaged, and included the connection strip for the SD card. All I had to do was install the Tsunami board. My Tsunami though had huge headers on the opposite side from when I used it with my original adapter board. And I did a bad job of removing the old header to install the new ones, and ended up destroying some traces. My board has now 4 broken trigger inputs. That still gives me 12 though, so it's usable for now until I order myself a new Tsunami. My Tsunami was also a bit noisy, with some digital noise audible from the outputs when any sample was triggered. Mangu tells me that most Tsunamis are quiet, but on occasion you do get a noisy one and you can just use a 1000 microfarad capacitor at the power inputs to reduce the noise. I did that and indeed the noise is imperceptible now. The only other assembly required was to carefully connect the Tsunami's SD card slot to the Nutella's front panel input using the included adapter. Mango not only created the Nutella, but also fosters a whole community of Eurorack Tsunami users, supporting us with information and contact, in the form of Tsunami-ready zip files, including samples, program files, and even firmware improvements. Check it out on Facebook, link below. So I loaded my card up with Mango's 20 mono drum kit set, which he programmed so the trigger buttons and inputs 15 and 16 actually cycle up and down through the different drum kits. Now I'm ready to have some fun making beats. Here we go. Here's some sounds. They're actually routed through four separate mono outputs here, which are going into my hex mix mixer, and I have them slightly panned. Some of them, whatever's not kick and snare. Actually, the snare should be center panned. And then the, the hi-hat right here can be sort of off to a side like that. And the tom can be off to the other side. All right. So snares are centered, kicks are centered. That's a kick right here. And these are really nice. So let's do a little beat quickly. I just grab this hi-hat right here and make a metronome with it, right? So let's make a simple beat. Now here on my, since I have different outputs happening, I can send like just the snare to the uh, the delay here, the Ergosynth delay, which actually synchronized to the clock. I'm sending the Arturia Beatstep Pro clock to the mug slicer, which is dividing that clock, sending it back to the Ergosynth delay, All right? The other effect that I have happening here is a spring reverb which you can use on any of these outputs. This is just for the hi-hat output right here. It's a kick. Nice. And this is like the toms. So we can have like maybe a little bit of the snare in there, a little bit of the hi-hats. Cool. So. And here I have a bass line that I can do with the Micron. Let's 
let's bring that an octave down get rid of the reverb for the delay for now and I have the velocity patched to the filter on the micron so Just, just for that bass line. Now let's go through some of the banks on the Nutella. Let's turn that bass off for now. Turn all the effects off for now. These are some of the banks that Mango has programmed into this file that he's sharing. There's a different one. These are really good actually. I'm super happy with the way these sound. I'm probably gonna use these samples elsewhere too. Sample them into my MPC for example. But yeah, this little box right here, it already has two monophonic voices and now it has a, a sampler, 16 trigger inputs and 8 audio outputs that I, so I can use just this box with the BeatStep Pro and do a whole rave, right? Different one. Let's program something different. Let's program a different beat. All right, let's go to number four, five here, and uh, we'll take this hi-hat right here, and we'll make a little metronome with it. Let's make this a two-bar beat. and record one two
out of the of the reverb. And what you hear here is actually into the sample. It's a super cool sample. So so nice of you, Mangu. Not only did you make a perfect front end for the tsunami board, you also give us the best firmware updates and the best drum kits to use. It's a more acoustic sounding one, cool. kits there's 20 of them in this card and there's other stuff there that you can check out at the Facebook group dedicated to the Nutella by Tesseract very cool hope you like the video if so hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one stay noisy see you all later